What's up guys, it's your boy Larry G back again with another video and today I just want to talk about the election. Why is people always tell me that you should not just react to a situation from your first thoughts? Which is what I did when I went on Twitter the night of the election. So it's been more than a week since the United States has decided to elect Donald Trump as the 45th president of the United States of America. Instead of releasing a giant Facebook post and engaging in arguments that really go nowhere, I've decided to release this video response in hopes that people will understand where I'm coming from and my thoughts on this situation. So. First things first, no, I did not vote for Donald Trump. Um, I voted for Hillary Clinton because I figured lesser of two evils and I actually wanted my voice to count. Um, not saying that if you voted third party that your voice doesn't count, just saying that I would rather Hillary Clinton than Donald Trump. The reason that I did not like Donald Trump is the man spreads hate speech, whether it comes out of his mouth or whether he condoned it from other people denying that he knew who David Duke was um, denying that he knew what the KKK was and the more I read into it I don't think the man is really that racist I just think that he does not have a way with words at all and I understand that's what a lot of people were looking for in their presidential candidate this year. Someone who wasn't a politician and who didn't play by the rules. But you have to also see the big picture that this man did not give a fuck. At one point during the campaign, he said he could walk out into the street and shoot someone and his supporters would still support him. And it's true. That man literally got away with everything that would have disqualified any other candidate. He called most Mexicans who come across this border illegally rapists. Um, he said they steal our jobs. He said that black people don't have anything to lose if they vote for him. But let's get into my real concern. I'm not afraid of a President Trump. I'm not afraid because I understand that there are checks and balances in the system, even though the Republicans run the entire system right now. I understand there are checks and balances and he can't exactly just do whatever he wants. So that does not scare me. What scares me is his supporters who are the extremists, who are the super uh, nat white nationalists or racists or bigots or people who think that, hey, let's just go back to 19 fucking 30. Those are the people that frighten me because they now feel empowered and they now feel like they can do whatever they want. They can say whatever they want. They can attack people based on their beliefs or the color of their skin. People like that who are empowered and who act upon that power are what really frighten me. Recently, Trump did an interview uh, on 60 Minutes and he said to the people who are exhibiting this behavior, he told them to stop it. And I don't think that's good enough. When you run a campaign preaching these words and not necessarily saying stop it then, but inciting it, you can't exactly win and then say, oh, I was just kidding. Stop it. Like, it's going to take more than that. Like, I don't enjoy seeing people attacked or people being hurt. But what I am enjoying is that when stories like this happen and things like this happen, the outpour of love from the majority of people who stand with those people who are oppressed or who are attacked. Do I like that Trump is president-elect? Not really. Will we make it through? Of course, it's what we always do. We're Americans. Whether or not you like President Barack Obama, he said something very profound, and that is that we are all on the same team. Whether you are Democrat, Republican, conservative, liberal, alt-right, whatever, libertarian, third party, I don't care. We all have to live in this country. We all are in the same America. And even though the country is extremely divided right now, I see the light at the end of the tunnel. I see that 
now is the time for change. Whether we wanted Trump as our leader or not, now is the time to speak out and use your voice and get involved and do what you need to do so that this does not happen again the way that it happened. I will say this, young people, our voice matters and not just at the end. We have to get involved in the beginning. So that means the presidential election is coming up in four more years. Now is the time to find a candidate to get behind. Now is the time to, if you want to be that person, get involved in politics, start the process. I don't think that this country will explode in the next four years, but I do think that if we, the millennials, the young people who are next up, if we don't take charge of our political system now, that it will eventually fall. We are the next generation who will run this country. And even though we don't agree with the systems in place, it's not enough to just disagree. Now we have to find a solution. Now we have to figure out a way to make it better. I'd like to end things on a positive note. If you're feeling afraid of a Trump presidency, or you're feeling afraid of his supporters who are the extremists, remember that not everyone who supported him is a racist or a bigot. Some of them voted for him purely on policy. Some of them voted for him because they don't like Hillary Clinton. Some of them voted for him because they felt that in their heart, he was the better candidate. People who voted for Trump, I don't hate you. I love you. I know some of you. I know a lot of you. I live in a conservative state, so I, I completely understand uh, the right wing side of things. Just remember that we all live in this country. We all have to come together. I mean, that's all I got. All you, all you can do is wake up and be happy. That is my newfound message. Just be happy. Do what it takes to make you happy. And if you're going to be happy leaving or if you're going to be happy standing here and fighting, then do what it takes to make you happy. No matter what you choose to do, remember this. I love you. I respect you. I really want to open this up. If you guys have questions, uh, feel free to leave comments, uh, submit video responses, however you see fit. Um, message me, uh, however you want to do it. I'm open to a discussion, not an argument. So if you're here to discuss what happened and be uh, professional about it and be um, have educated responses and comebacks, then I'm more than happy to talk with you about it. Um, but if you're here for an argument, then I'm not for it. That's all I got for the day. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like what I do, don't forget to hit that like button. If you're on YouTube, hit the subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next one.